So had a great gig again last night with the big band uh, down at the Roxmoor Playhouse. Uh, and now it's time to head off to the Hearts Jazz Festival. <laughs> So just finished at Hearts Jazz Festival, another really, really nice little big band gig. The, uh, the band played really, really well uh, in front of a real jazz audience. It's such a great experience for them. Um, we got through all our Bernstein rep. the bit. And it all sounded great, so it's really, really enjoyable. Um, the jazz day now continues. As I'm heading home, and then this evening we're heading out to go and see uh, Roy Hargrove at the Jazz Cafe, which should be sensational. <laughs> Great time watching Roy Hargrave last night. Uh, his band was sensational. And he had uh, a support band. But yeah, it was a pretty cool gig. Gig was down at the Jazz Cafe, which has been completely revamped since I last went there. Um, and it's looking really cool inside. I was really pleasantly surprised by the demographic of the audience as well. So in the 24 hours of from uh, my gig on the Saturday night to Roy's gig on Sunday night, I saw the full spectrum of our jazz audiences here in the UK. So Saturday night we were playing swing band music to an audience who were having dinner and then swing dancing at the end. So as you can imagine, the ages of the audience was probably in the upper, shall we say, in the, uh, yes, in the, uh, the slightly older generation was out uh, in force. Uh, and then Sunday morning down at the Hearts Jazz Festival, again, it's not a young audience uh, that they get there. And one of the things we tend to complain about in the jazz world is the lack of a young audience uh, and how the music's dying out. I hear this a lot. However, we turned up to the Jazz Cafe to see Roy Hargrove. So not a new band, uh, not a new generation band, not a, like a snarky puppy or anything like that. A guy that has been doing it for 20 years plus. Uh, and he's not playing uh, funk music, he's not playing, you know, groove music, he's playing jazz. And the audience, it's a great, a packed out place, young audience on a Sunday night. It's absolutely wonderful. What else can I say about Roy? Roy's band were great, they played a real wide selection of music. Uh, everything from stuff that was kind of uh, boppy. Just some groovy stuff. Um, there, 
was a couple of bits that I kind of thought, how would I label it? I, in my mind, I'd label it almost 21st century hard bop. <laughs> He also confirmed my suspicions that all the trumpet players secretly want to be a singer and Roy even sang a couple of tunes for us. <laughs> Which caught me by a complete surprise, I had no idea he was going to do that and he sounded great, it was brilliant. Also got to see him play his flugel. Oh my word, what a sound the man makes, how he makes that sound. I have no idea, but it is gorgeous. His band were great, his band were on it. Some really, really hit playing, it was great. It makes me wonder whether that young audience is helped out by the fact it was 25 quid a ticket, you know, standing room, no, no having to book tables, didn't have to have dinner at the club, five pound for a beer, cool place, I think, something in that so it just goes back to like i was saying in my very first why i was doing this vlog there is a young audience out there for jazz it's just finding how to cultivate and engage with that audience hopefully this way youtube is a way i can reach out to a jazz audience of my age and younger and i can get my music out across to you guys